Give the nigga shot. Shit out of here. No. Please. No. What it do, what it do, what it do, good people coming to you live from Taz TV 410. I'm your host, Taz D. I ain't going to hold you long, good people. If you ever get a chance, if you get a chance, go check out the Knuckleheads podcast with uh, Quentin Richardson and Darius Miles. Look at the episode with Kevin Garnett. They filmed it about, what, two weeks ago they dropped it. Man, this has to be the best This got to be the best interview by far. When I say it's good all the way through, I watched it. This is my my third time watching this interview. And and I felt as though, like, it it relates to anybody that played basketball, male or female, and and, and, in the 80s, 90s, it it don't matter. Early 2000s, before the game has changed, right? And it's refreshing to, it's refreshing to hear coming from a a, a, a a Hall of Fame player like Kevin Garnett. He speak on he speak on when he left South Carolina, moved up to Chicago, you know, and 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 and, and not a different game, but it's different players. It's better competition. You know what I mean? And how he, how at this time, how he felt. The first time he went to play in the summer league, he got his tail bust. Then the next night, he played against uh, what was the what was the center that was number one, number one in his class at the at the time. He played for for King High School in Chicago. Uh, his name escaped me. Anyhow, he go on to talk about. How the first night he got his tail bust, the second night he got what to do. However, that got me it got me to thinking, right? All right. My first time I had that had that thought in, in my head far as, oh, you questioning yourself? We all is we all confidence. We all have egos, basketball players. Anyway, however, you know, when you young and you doing and you go into different phases. Of 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 not even your life, but you go on the different phases of the game. Like you now, you're not in middle school no more. Now you got to adjust to high school. But in 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 the midst of all that, oh, you go through some things because now you 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 playing against players that's just as strong as you, who stronger and faster than you. I get you got to get caught up with the game. Now a lot a lot of times today, you know. Our kids play so much, they play so much that they is 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 not uncommon for a kid to come in and start their freshman year, right? And it's a bunch of high school, but that's another whole topic that we can talk about. Anyway, so I get to I get to thinking the first time I challenged myself, and the first time I challenged myself, I my ninth grade year up Murro. And it wasn't for Marivo making the high school change because I always felt like felt as though I was going to make high school football and basketball. However, it was after the season, and I was going. It was either out of Oliver or Cecil. However, at this time, this was Bucky Lee first. Shout out to Coach Bucky Lee, R.I.P. The legend. Well, first, this was. Coach Bucky, first year, this was but first year at Merivo, right? So after the season, I wasn't trying to play the summer with Bucky. If, 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 you know, I wasn't trying to hit Bucky all summer. And at this time, I thought I would still be coming back to Merivo the following year. So I felt as though I needed a little break from him. So I said, I always looked at Cecil from afar. You know what I mean? They got the tennis. They I always looked at him from afar. However, in my head, I'm thinking like it's time to do something different. At this time, I'm playing. Before then, I'm playing with Leaf Walk, and I'm playing with Chick Webb. I mean, damn, I said Chick Webb, Chickapin, my middle school, right? However, I remember one time, and and this this year I still remember. It was uh. I'm up my way playing on the court, and um, Pappy 
Pappy lived up the street from me. Uh, he say, I'm killing them out there on the court. They're having a good day on the court. And nine times out of ten, I probably was running my mouth a little bit. I probably was agitating somebody. So he said, you couldn't do this. You couldn't play, you couldn't play like this if you went down the hill, you know. So if people didn't know, I'm from Northeast Baltimore, right? So I always like, all right, that stuck with me. So fast forward, the JV uh, season over with at Mervo, even though I got uh, they, they, I got uh, pulled up for a playoff game against the nationally ranked uh, Southern Bulldogs. Anyway, so at that season over with. Piggy, like, uh, you going down, you going down to uh, Cecil with me. Now, mind you, it's family down there. But, but by this time, it's still new because my whole, my whole, my whole goal was playing on this, on this, on this basketball team. I get down there, we catch the bus down there. So now it's time for practice. First day of practice, we in Cecil in the rec part though. I'm not gonna say that, I'm not gonna say my guy's name. However, at this time, my bro, Brody had a, a, a serious attitude problem. He planned, he planned, they it's, it, they playing uh ping pong, right? Now this is my first day at Cecil. Now, my first day, all of a sudden a, a fight broke out. However, when I th- I thought it was Mike Tyson over there, boom, 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 not over real quick. However, now now I'm looking at everybody. It seemed like like ain't nobody moving, ain't nobody stopping. You know? It was just it happened and it was over. I'm like, oh, this no, oh, this is this no. It's time to let me go in this gym. And it's time for I go in the gym. It's at least like at the time, like at least. 50, 60 people up in that gym trying out, trying to make Cecil, right? Long story short, I had a good practice. Come on back, all that. Now, in my head, I'm thinking I, I'm still got to really work hard, which I always, and I always worked hard, always, you know what I'm saying, practice hard, all that. And now I, I always kept this in, in my head, even during uh, uh, trials. At that time, I really feel as though I'm really trying out. Baseline was our coach. Now I ain't at this time I ain't know know who baseline was. You know what I'm saying? I just knew duty. You know what I'm saying? Duty was like the face of the of the of the, of the, of the program anyway. However, though, that was a blessing in disguise. Made the team. At this time, we got Easter tournament come up. We end up winning Easter tournament against Oliver, and then they kicked our ass uh, uh, because Reggie Bryant left us and went to Oliver. Beat his yeah. They, that's another whole conversation in itself. But my whole point is, my my uh, my first practice down there, I knew I, I knew it was cool. But in my head, I was just oh, I am a push. Now I'm down, Cecil. I'm, uh, players that I seen, that I that I used to see, uh, who watch their game from afar. Now we really we getting it in, you know. High school, you know. Sometimes we in, in Baltimore, you got some players that's real good, but they they ain't play high school ball. Ain't want to go to school or something like that. Ooh, but they played in the summertime, make it really go. However, everybody came out there and make like they said, make the team. Made the team, and then that's when my confidence start start it start getting better. It start I, I felt as though like oh I could play on this level, I could really play I could play this game. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, cause some kids, screw me, when they uh when they get around a bunch of competition, some kids they fold. Cause they did it in my era. And I know it, I know it didn't start who stopped with my her. So, yeah, some people free, freeze up. Some people quit, you know. Some people work harder. 
So it was, man. Y'all gotta check this, check this interview out. It, it was just, it was just good. Never experience I, I felt playing down Madison, down the dome. My, my first, my first game down there. I tell y'all about that on another video. Coming live for Chase TV. Uh,